All right, so we're gonna put the rear caliper on. I gotta separate the pads. They're separated, you can see the gap in between there. So I'm just gonna put my camera down facing up. What I gotta do here is slide the pads in between the disc. And there's this little slot here. And there's a dimple sticking out on the inside of the swing arm. That's gotta slide into there. And everything being lined up and the spacer, bearing spacer over here keep it from falling out, hopefully. Alright, so I'm going to try doing this. I'm going to just shoot right up. Hopefully you guys got a good shot at that. So I'm going to just slip this in. Went in like butter. It's too far out though. Come back this way. This slides back and forth with the chain adjuster. I just discovered. Anyways, that's perfect. So we got it all back together. You can see right through the shaft, sort of. It's not lined up perfectly, but I got it in. Now coming back onto this side. I got my axle shaft. I have my chain marker lines pointing out. I'm going to turn this, it's not sitting properly, like so, flat part in, so I slipped it in most of the way, now I'm going to go back onto the other side, have a look, see where we are here, my tire is a little bit too high up because I got this uh, put this block so I'm gonna just now that I got the axle shaft in there I could just slip this piece out It'll kind of like almost go where it's supposed to be just got to be careful you don't slip out the spacer 